Bachelor's Way, making secondhand chic. Hi, it's Rhonda Bachelor from Bachelor's Way. Today we're going to continue on our journey in the basement, but first we have a little tiny problem that we have to solve. I really like to dress up and I've kind of passed it on to my kids. We love Halloween and we love any excuse we can to dress up. So we kind of have a lot of costumes that we keep. Um, if you don't believe me, here's a little preview. Okay, I told you, that's just a tiny little bit of the costumes. You name it, we think of reasons to do it. Our problem today that we have to solve is where to put all these costumes. We need a place to store them that's easy to get to and we'll keep them um, organized and clean. So that's what we're gonna solve today. Okay, where we've we been keeping the costumes? Right here, um, in the corner of the where the family room is supposed to be. So we can't keep them there any longer. So we decided we would build something in the storeroom where we could keep them. We were going to just build um, some a hanging space and a place to put all the accessories. Okay, so this was a few years ago and we actually built the shelves and then put all the accessories in here in the tubs um, that we already had and it was working really good. Okay, before we got to building the hanging space, we realized that we had another problem. Our second oldest son, who's very creative, is teaching himself how to build masks and all kinds of other uh, things with latex and stuff, but it was making this huge mess and it kind of had a lot of scary masks and things around, as you can see, and so it was scaring our younger son, Brandon, and his friends. So we had to come up with a place for to put him, so the most logical place was in the storeroom next to the shelves we just built. So Jason and his dad built a uh, workspace in the storeroom um, so he could work there. We put some lights in and it worked really good. He started using it and you can see some of his really creative masks and carvings he was doing to make his masks and it worked really good. So fast forward a few years and he graduated from high school and then he moved out. So now we had the space available again. So we decided it was time to move the costumes in there. So we did just that. We took his workstation apart and we reconfigured it so that we could hang all the costumes in the storeroom. Once we were done building, we moved all the costumes in and I wanted them to be a little bit more protected. So I took some Velcro tape and I attached it with some staples across the top shelf. Then I took the other side of the Velcro tape and I sewed it to the top of an old sheet all the way across the top. Then I just Velcroed the two pieces of tape together and I had like a dust cover. Ta-da! Okay, we use these costumes a lot and we also loan them out to other people and so it's really nice that people can come in here, we can find the costumes that they need, they're all organized and labeled, it's really great. And we check them out, I have like a checkout log and what's really great is we can go in here, we can find the pieces that someone might need for a costume, hang them on this convenient hook that I installed and see what it's going to look like all together and it's just really easy and a great system. 